my sister was dating a guy and um, she actually broke up with him because every time that he had a drink of anything, he finished with a, ah. <laughs> he said it drove him crazy. And I just did it. So yeah, it's like an hour later. The import into Proton Mail is taking a long time. So I'm just about to go out for lunch. This is the lunch t-shirt or lunch shirt. Um, but yeah, just poking around in Proton Mail. I like it so far. I can see it bringing things in. Um, I can see the configuration by for Proton Mail Plus. I've got 15 gig of storage. I've got a feeling I'm going to blow that when it brings in all 24,000 because I have lots of large attachments. Um, it sends me email updates. Look, my Proton calendar import is completed. My contact import is completed. The layout of Proton Mail. If you use Gmail, it feels very, very similar. One of the things I like about it is that it has labels and it's pulled in all the old labels from my Gmail account. Um, and it also has folders, which is what something that I used to like from Hotmail when I used to use that back in the day, many aeons ago. The setup seems to be pretty standard. Beta access, or beta as Americans say. Uh, I'm always going to be up for beta because I like to see anything new. Give me the beta stuff. Um, yeah. So I recommend that you just go and do it. It has regular themes, uh, settings. Even the settings look very similar. So I can upgrade to unlimited, which I might have to do, but I'm not going to do it right now. I have my recovery email address, my security, my privacy. Oh, nice. It shows me where I'm logged in and exactly who's updated what. It's not something that's uh, as easy to see in Gmail. Um, the import is running at any time. Look, it shows me that it's completed contacts, doing calendar, and the mail's in progress. And then I can set up how um, my emails look. Oh, so you can switch from Proton mail to pm.me doesn't apply to me because I'm going to park my uh, Nick Litton account so that I'll be nick at nicklitton.com um, keep messages in sent drafts sticky labels auto unsubscribe yeah no I always want to auto unsubscribe but I'm, I'm unsubscribing from a lot of stuff when it happens get a lot of junk mail obviously I wonder where I set signatures up. Email privacy, yes, remote images, block. Oh, there's a lot more identity um, and tracking things that I really like. Let's just try and paste in my um, email sig from Gmail. So if I whip into C Gmail, go to settings under here. Where is my email signature? Here she blows. Let's just copy it and see if we can just paste that straight in there. Excellent. That just worked straight out the bat. No problems there. Proton mail footer. No, I don't want to do that. I'll save the um, email sig. I wonder what it's going to do with the image because I'm presuming that image is stored on a Google server. Um, I'll find out how that works once I start using Proton mail. Um, appearances, the themes. I'm just going to stick with the standard theme while I'm first playing with it. Um, column based. Compact, comfortable, normal. Folders, labels. I'm going to use folder colors, yes please. Who doesn't like a bit of color in their inbox? These are all of my import informations. Good, filters are going to be handy. Got a spam and block list, I like that. Add a custom to auto. Okay, I'm definitely going to be using filters as I go because I filter different things based on certain companies when they email me. Oh, I've got an out of office response, pretty standard stuff. Ah, so this is the one where you're going to set up your standard domain. Let's do this. In fact, I'll do this in a completely separate blog. So I'm sure anyone else out there that runs their own website might want to do it. So I'll come back to that in a second. Encryption and keys. I'm not using Proton. I'm going to leave all of this as standard because I don't want to break any settings. And of course you can turn bridge on so you can access it from Outlook. And you can have multi-user support if you want to upgrade to the uh, business plan. And I can go back to the email. Very nice. So, so far I like going into the emails. They make nice sense. It feels very fast. 
Um, and if you're saying that's not fast, that's because I'm high up a Spanish mountain and my Wi-Fi and internet connection is particularly slow. Uh, but yes, my initial feelings are very nice. I like it. Let's go look at the calendar. Loading Proton Calendar. Welcome to Calendar for the first time. Okay, the calendar looks just like anything else that I'm seeing within um, within Google. I have no entries in the calendar because I have no entries in this calendar. <laughs> My personal one, I don't really use the calendar. So let's go and have a look at their version of Drive. Oh, it has Proton VPN. I'd forgotten about that. So if I close down the calendar. So this is their version of Drive, Proton Drive. It's going to be interesting to see how I install this on my desktop. I'm going to start using it. I assume that it has some uh, Windows plugin so that I can do it. I don't quite know if that's going to be how it works. I've got, uh, or do you just upload and download through the web interface? I'll go. I'll go playing with this to try and figure out how this works. It'd be nice to have a Proton Drive. Um, Windows installer. Okay, let's have a look. Proton Drive uh, Windows app. Download all Proton apps. Ah, here we go. Excellent. We have a web app. Calendar Drive. Mm, no, not really. It does it all through the Windows app, it looks like. Uh, I'm okay with that. That's a nice way of doing it, so I can store things centrally on the Proton Drive. Okay. Uh, let's have a go with installing the Proton Mail on my phone. So if I install the Android app, it should open Google Play. Yes, install. It says which phone do I want to install it on. I happen to be running a, a Google Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, what is my password? It's that. And bada bing, phone just unlocked and Proton Mail is installing. Fantastic. Oh, that looks good. Installed my device soon. Can't go wrong with that. What else have we got, Pokemon? What's Proton VPN? Well, I'm already on. already got mail plus is this saying that you need to go to proton unlimited to use vpn vpn apps general oh i like the fact that it comes oh, okay so vpn plus gives you 10 devices i just want to do this one device let's see if i can do a vpn get proton vpn for windows um okay i'll, I'll install it and I'm assuming that because I have um, a regular Proton Mail account, it will let me do it. Shall we see? Let's have a little run. Does anyone watch these kind of videos when it's just me blathering away and playing with technology? I suspect not. True caller, the videos, my Duolingo, which is where I'm learning Spanish. Uh, yeah, I'll stick the, let's set up names. I don't care about those things. Where is my Proton? Proton Mail installed successfully. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to use my um, st stored password. VPN is going on. Anyone else out there like me that just multitasks all the time? Open one password. Again, if you haven't used one password, or I used to use LastPass. And um, I switched from LastPass to 1Password just to try something new. Really liked it. Proton. Got a Proton VPN and a Proton Mail. I'm going to choose my Proton Mail. Fill an update. Username or email. I presume my username is nick.litton when I used when I signed up. Let's see. So the VPN is doing its thing. Ah, and I'm in. Look at this. Well, you can't look at this because it's on my phone. So that's the uh, client running on your phone. It, again, looks and feels just like Gmail. Has all the tagging, has all the sent, has the interfaces exactly the same. Yeah. I think what I need to do is go and get some lunch and uh, play with this. 
But yeah, initial feelings, apart from VPN taking a long time to install. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. While that's installing, is uh, thumbed up for Proton so far. Oh, it's done. How many times are you going to run it? Are you going to run this multiple times? The dogs are barking. Can you hear them? That's a sign they're like completing your Proton VPN. They want to go out for lunch as well. Well, this on its own is a nice little bonus. I can have a secure connection. Uh, oh, I don't know what my password is. Let's put in my email address. So if I go here, this is one of the nice things about one password. Look. It shows me there's my Proton address. It stores the password. It doesn't have to show it to me, so you can't see it. But I can copy it and paste it in here. Oops. I can copy it and paste it in here. Start and connect on boot. No, I definitely don't want to do that. Let's see if it takes me into VPN territory. It would be nice to have this on my phone as well, and it seems to have that connectivity. Oh, great. My phone actually popped up with a warning saying that someone's just logged into your Proton Mail account. I really like that. I could take the tour. I don't really care. I know enough about VPN not to. I'm protected. Wow. So straight away, it's hooked me in two different places. And I can say I want to connect to the US, Netherlands, United Kingdom, Japan. Very cool. So I've got VPN and Mail. That on its own is great because I have a, a Nord VPN account. So after some playing, I'm going to disconnect and save my NordVPN monthly dollars and use uh, Proton VPN instead. Thumbs up, Proton. Liking the look of everything you're doing so far. Um, yeah, my recommendation, go and try it out. I'll do a more of a detailed um, blog on this when I get a chance, probably include this video at the end. But so far, everything I'm seeing about um, Proton Mail ticks all of my boxes for a good Gmail alternative. So go and enjoy, and um, I'll see you on the flip side.